guys happy Monday welcome back to my channel I owe you guys a huge apology I did not know the severity of this storm okay I knew a hurricane was coming um, this is hurricane season a few years back me and I spy were on vacation and we got caught in Myrtle Beach in a horrible hurricane it was the worst so I, I knew a hurricane was coming but I didn't know Nobody knew, I don't think, that it was going to cause as much damage that it did. And I didn't even know North Carolina was, you know, all we got the other day was rain. It rained for a couple of hours. And then by the time I left the house, it was sunny. Um, I did not know that Western North Carolina was going to get hit. Tennessee, they say the damage spans all the way to Ohio. And even the people, I don't think the sad thing is, I don't think the people knew either. I don't think the people in Asheville were worried about a hurricane and um, close to Charlotte or whatever. I think it's the dams that broke that caused the flooding that caused so much loss, loss of life, loss of property. And I know people say, well, you can replace property, but you can't replace life. But imagine looking at the rubble of everything you worked so hard for gone you know, some people, they say, just went to bed and woke up to devastation. They were not prepared. They weren't planning for this. So I apologize because I honestly, your girl does not watch the news. Ever since Rona, especially being a nurse, working through several, several rounds of Rona back to back, back to back. I just found that the news was, it just was to me half truths and fear mongering and ever since then that kind of really turned me off from mainstream news i hate to say it i get a lot of my news from social media i rather get the news from the people on the ground sharing it raw live and uncut um i feel unfortunately the media is used to push agendas um so i i did not know so thank you to those of you who reached out to me i got emails i got instagram dms some of you asked me in the comments, you know, how was I making out? And I, I your girl was in the bubble. Uh, thank God we didn't get that weather this way, but so many people did. And I'm not insensitive to that. I just honestly, I didn't know. I didn't know. So thank you for those of you who reached out. I hope all of you guys are well. Some of you lost power. I hope it's back on now. And uh, I'm glad that you're safe. So right now I'm taking you shopping. This was my shopping day. I believe it was Saturday. I was on the hunt for the brushes. I found the brushes and they actually the next day came local. That's how it always is. But I found two more sets today. Uh, that road trip is coming up. I don't know if this road trip was worth it or not. But your girl is just getting home. Okay. I drove, I drove a lot today. But anyway, stay tuned for this shop with me. I went to Seven Dollar Trees. Two Kingston locations, three Goldsboro locations, Smithfield and Wilson. Okay, I don't have footage from all of them because some stores I just walked in and walked out. Your girl was on a mission. I had a one-track mind and I forgot to look for the new Touchland dupes. I shared it with you guys on an IG, no, on a YouTube. I shared it on IG and I also shared it on a community post. And while your girl was out, I forgot to look for them. So who knows? They could have been there. They could have not been one of you said had me cracking up. I think it was Aphrodite. Here comes the frenzy because people were going crazy. I left up and found them early. Um, just easily early. But um, I'm not getting involved in it. I'm, I'm not. I'm not driving miles looking for them. I told you guys what I did. I bought the empty containers from Timu. They were like 69 cents. They're actually bigger. You can fill them yourself. If I see them, yes. Will I grab them? Yes. But... I'm not getting involved in the frenzy, but stay tuned. Let's go shopping. The whole will be uploaded in a separate video. Take care and have a good day and a great week. So guys, we are seeing some orchard acne patches. We've seen them come into the Dollar Tree. They have feminine wipes. They have tampons. I don't know if they have maxi pads, but here we are. So there are two different ones. They have these stars and two different colors. And then they have these iridescent hearts. That change color and they have these pink hearts and in each box there are 24 patches now first we got the uh, tissue 
that fit in your cup holder. I believe these fit in your cup holder as well. These are from BioPure and they're new antibacterial hand wipes. We have lilac with aloe and vitamin E and then we also have citrus go grove with aloe and vitamin E. And you're getting how many wipes? Yes, it says cup holder friendly. Uh, how many wipes? Am I missing it? 50 wipes. <laughs> 50 wipes. A lot of us are shopping. We're out and about. The holiday season is coming, so it's, this is a great must-have for your car. New spa headbands. So they have this one with hearts. It's hard to see the design, but those are hearts. They have this pink polka dot one, baby blue cheetah print, and this purple one with stars. In Winterville, I found the aerosol spray. I found, I believe, they had a gel air freshener they also had um the automatic spray refills well this location has the room spray in the nordic air scent with essential oils first time seeing this spa luxury luxury professional heat defense spray for all hair types helps protect hair from moisture loss during heat styling be on the lookout guys this is a new find for me so first from Luxury Essentials, I seen this mousse, but now I'm seeing a fast dry hairspray super hold for 48 hours, anti-frizz, humidity control, and fullness. Be on the lookout for those. Some new hair accessories. Look at this headband, how super cute. Some claw clips, some we've seen already. I don't know if I've seen those from Enchante, those speckled ones. And Kingston also has their breast cancer awareness display. A lot of what we've seen all in one, the wood decor with the cutout. We've seen that in Smithfield, the kitchen textiles, the caps, the bags. And I don't think this is supposed to be a fanny pack. I think you can put it around your shoulder. Um, I've never seen the tech stickers. This is pretty cool. You can customize a laptop, um, anything that you want. They have some stickers. So we seen locally, I seen locally one that says caregiver. This one says fighter. The bracelets, the pens, really nice. And then they have Miraclings. So you remember the Miracling method we did for the, um, oh my God. We just did, I just did a DIY with, uh, well this is for the Mara, but I'm pretty sure you might be able to use them as window clings and do some DIYs with that. If you want to customize some things and socks, they have quite a few pair of socks. Some of the Christmas plus items that we've seen. So they have one more LED ceramic tree. These were very popular. They have the fireplace, the camper, the truck, the buggy. Those are five. The wooden trees for three, the metal trees for five. They have the reefs. And you definitely can build on these guys. Use this as your wreath base and add to it. For $5, grab and go. If you're not crafty, start there. And then they have the berry one. A good wreath base. Because if you went out and you bought the wreath form by itself and you bought some of the greenery, you're going to spend more than 5 They have a metal yard stake. And then they have like a retro looking Santa behind it. Some of the wood lanterns so they have gold silver green and white they brought back this five dollar garland that they've had for the past couple of years they have the hollyberry garland i just wish it looked more realistic um, some three dollar wood signs some other like garland the red and white balls i believe this is new i don't remember this one they have one with the glitter reindeer Okay, so the glitter reindeer with the red glitter Santa in the sleigh. And then they have this one with the berries. It looks like felt. Like I said, I wish personally it was more realistic looking, but that's just my opinion. For the fairy costumes, they have these wands and they require batteries and they will light up. So they have a blue wand, a white one. This is giving me frozen vibes, isn't it? And then they have a purple one. I don't want to make a mess. Yeah. I don't know why that reminds me of Frozen. Disney's Frozen. 
and the dollar 25 Christmas still looks the same to me guys I'm not seeing you know anything that's popping out as new as well as the ornaments I'm so glad I came back for those houses because they have not been unpacked locally near me but yeah guys we've seen it all in previous shot with me so I'm gonna go and we're gonna go to the next location okay guys I finally found how many Dollar Trees is this so far I think this is number four I don't remember three or four I found the full face fabulous five-piece full face brush set from Candy Couture I shared with you in um, my last haul that I did some research and I found her brush makeup brush sets on walmart.com uh, this is a name brand closeout guys look at this now the I like these because these are like iridescent the uh, handles of the brush set the fibers look so nice I'm so happy I have a birthday next week for somebody the holidays are coming up and I need to upgrade my brushes I hope you find them be on the lookout okay so the Christmas trees are back this is the four foot unlit PVC tree for five dollars and I couldn't understand because I seen these on the website I'm saying why are these more this is a three and a half foot pre-lit so this comes with lights guys you can either get clear lights and they also have the multicolored one okay I'm a clear light girl so be on the lookout for these they also have the Christmas pool noodles but I've seen those uh, circulating in uh, certain stores so get your trees because these go fast now, I don't know if these are going to be like the struggle tree, you know, where you need two to make one. I'm not sure. But they have arrived at this location. They have out some Christmas mugs, and they've had a mug with a this, this saying. However, they redid it. They made the handle red. Um, they just changed the design, but the saying is the same. I'm only a morning person on December 25th. I don't think they made any changes to this one. Hot cocoa served here. This one is new. Holiday candy, homemade. That's new. And they redid this design. Farm fresh trees. Really, really nice for your Christmas candy bar. I don't think we're going to get a gingy mug as I was hoping. I did see some closeout mugs on a YouTube haul. That looked like they weren't a typical Dollar Tree mug like this year. We got the pumpkins and the gnomes, but no gingies. So be on the lookout for these guys. I'm going to wait because Burlington, I know, has gingy mugs. And they're very, very affordable. I even believe they redid these Santas. They just, you know, I, I think it's the, we've had like ice skating Santas. I believe they were ice skating Santas, but they just look... Like the design is a little bit different, like they've made small improvements here or there, whether it's the paint color or whatever. But other than that, guys, I'm not seeing anything else new for Christmas that we have not seen. Okay, guys, we just got to Smithfield and they have a six foot noble fir hinged tree for $20. They have some Christmas pails here. Joy, Merry Christmas, that is so pretty. And I think I can use that and put my gingy utensils in that. They have a farm fresh Christmas tree. And this one that says Joy, they're $3. I'm gonna try the best looking one. They're kinda banged up. Well, I'll find the best one and grab that. So be on the lookout for those. Some new Christmas porch leaners for five. Again, they are made thicker than the other ones but I still don't know how they are going to hold up in the elements. I'm not even going to lie to you. So they have Santa, and then they have the snowman. Snow much fun. And this one on his hat says Merry, then it says Christmas. I do not need wrapping paper, but this is so freaking cute. The gingy wrapping paper. I wonder if you can decoupage that. I'm pretty sure. God, I'm not ready for wrapping paper. I know. Okay, so here's the three-foot unlit tree. They have that th the pre-lit three-foot tree in the multicolored lights or the clear. Here are the $3 Christmas gnomes. 
I believe we've seen them in our travels. They have a five pack wrapping paper for five. Here's the garland. You can't get no, I mean, I think that's a great deal, $5 for that garland. They have the vintage um, metal yard stakes. Just reminds me of, you know, vintage and more gnomes. Nothing new in the ornaments. For $3, they also have these arrangements. I believe these are new for this year. I think they're really, really nice. For three, I mean, by the time you buy the pail and the greenery and the, the uh, foam to put inside, you might as well just grab one of these. My girl Tasha on Instagram showed these first. Tasha, you were the first one, and I have been looking ever since. These are the silicone straw covers. You're getting a four-piece set, but these are so much cuter than the first ones they dropped. Um, I'm so excited that I found them. I found them on a clip strip, so check by the register, guys. New food find from Pampa. They have this risotto rice with cheese. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested. Okay guys, finding more Christmas items at Dollar Tree. New this year, they have this two-piece spatula set. It's from the Christmas House Baking. It says Baking Christmas Cheer and it has a gingy on the smaller spatula. The wood handles feel good. See how I have it? I'm gonna get the red pail to go along with the gingy spatulas that I found. Mugs this year, they redid the I'm Only a Morning Person on December 25th. This is a part of a different collection. They also redid the barn, it looks new. The design looks new, Farm Fresh Trees. They have one that says Holiday Candy, homemade. So if you're doing a candy cane, gingy theme, that would fit right in. They also have this one that they brought back from last year, hot cocoa served here. Seeing the cookies for Santa plates. Welcome to our gnome. That looks new to me. Oh my God. I'm here for the cookies and boom, they gave us the matching mug. I'm just like so excited. And the snowman mug is back. Guys, I think I've showed you these before. I don't know, but they kind of look different to me. These are $3. There's th these wood lanterns with the candle. Yeah, $3 ones. Maybe I've seen the large ones. They have these woven baskets for three. I believe we've seen those. We've seen the metal lanterns. But this is standing out as new to me. Who remembers this? We were going crazy. I know I was looking for it. This is the ultrasonic face mister, and I feel like they upgraded it. I don't remember the top looking like that. Um, be on the lookout. I think I still have some unopened ones that were never used, so I'm going to leave these. Th that worked fine. They also have the fall bath bomb set with the apple scented, the pumpkin scented, and the salted caramel or caramel scented caramel scented. I left it behind personally. The caramel one smelled good, but the others, I don't know, smelled artificial to me. But this is this end cap here. Let's move on. New Ioni Lash Bar. It's calling the, they're calling it the Lash Fair. They have some half lashes, some bedazzled lashes, some colored lashes. I wish cotton candy was pink on the tips some purple lashes not my favorite lash bar from them but I wanted to share with you guys because you may like these lashes it's always nice to see new I told you guys it's a beauty explosion going on in Dollar Tree right now so guys there's actually four different new porch leaners for five dollars you have Santa the snowman the elf and the nutcracker and there are also three different Christmas ladders. You have Seasons Greetings. You have a snowman that says, Let It Snow. And then you have Santa, which I found in Winterville and I've shared with you already, that says, Merry Christmas. These are really beautiful. You could add some lighting to them. Be on the lookout. I think it's a great deal for $5. And I just noticed that the Nutcracker was holding a sign that says, Peace. I did see it at Smithfield, guys, but it was in the manager's office. I could see it from the register, and I just, you know, 
I didn't want them to see me thinking I was videotaping something else. Uh, some Sherpa pillows. They do have a tree and green, not Christmas green, but if sage green is your thing. And then they also have a white one. And it's faux Sherpa, but they're still cute for five. The metal light up houses are back and I believe these are five. They've had these for a couple of years now. They also have the snowman countdown. There's also a Santa one. And there's also a reindeer one. No gingies. I'm sorry, this is a gnome, not Santa. It's a gnome with a Santa hat, but let me show you Santa. He's super cute. Very retro, very old school Santa. I think that's cute. And those are $5. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three. The tag is right in front of my eyes. Three. And they have the light up Christmas tree, ceramic tree everybody went viral for. And they brought back these lanterns, uh, LED lanterns that light up. And everything else, guys, we have seen. I think there's a gingy one of those skinny leg things in the back, but I'm not interested. No, it's not. But there is one circulating. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this road trip shop with me. The haul will be uploaded in a separate video. I will see you guys. Thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. Have a great Monday and a great week.